welcome to the uh, Quick Fencer DVD. This is showing you how the machine rolls out on various stretches of, of fencing. I bet you don't usually roll that way that fast. Here we are rolling on a roadside doing temporary fencing. On a telehandler showing how you can lift over obstructions etc. Here we are at the edge of a town doing a footpath. Here we are unrolling a 300 meter roll, trial roll from a state wire. We unrolled the full 300 meters and tensioned it in two minutes. And then we rolled it all back up again. Oops, it's a fair way. Then we rolled it all back up again. The following day we're showing you using the same wire on an actual job. And uh, we can roll the wire as tight as it comes in the original roll. We just lift the motors up, motor and the reduction gearbox, and then it unrolls freely off the machine. You can leave the motors on, but it's working again, the uh, cross roll and relief valve if you do. Advantage of a telly and the lifting over at the back of the poles, but it's not necessary because you can just lift it over manually if you haven't got a telly handler. Stopping, ready to pull the tension. Here we are unrolling uh, horse netting. Horse netting now comes in larger rolls. When we're doing it, then you'll think you get 50 meters. Now I think you can get up to 300s. Here we are showing tensioning. As straight as a die. And then you knock your posts into your wire so you've got your height and you've got your, your straight line as well. Sometimes it pays to put a post in the middle on the higher spot, but other than that, it's, uh, it's easier than putting a, a wire up just for a line wire when you don't need to. Any awkward places, you just pull it off by hand very easily. And in this one, we haven't got a sleeve on it. Here we are joining the wire with a, a quick fence of twister. Twist it bend it back, knock a staple in along the line wire. Here we are rolling up. You can roll it back up as tight as it comes in the original roll. Here we are showing the two strand barbed wire but we're only actually unrolling one strand at the moment. We do another model which does one strand. It unrolls the same time we do the netting but we haven't got a video of that. This, uh, you don't need to be on a straight line or anywhere near your fence. You go around your strainer, you can pull up 45 degrees. Here we are, putting tension on. It's a lot safer than any other method. You can feel it, you can go and stretch your wire. And then give it a bit more. Here we are, I'm rolling two at once. You don't need to be near the fence, you can pull around obstructions and then back in again. We recommend every 50 meters you put a, a stake, you'll see in a moment in the clip, there we are, and it, if you put one of those in every 50 meters and you're on level land you can go full 200 without needing to, to, uh, to stop. Here we are tensioning again, tension, spring bolt to lock it, 
do the other one, stretch it and then do it again. Here we are showing the uh, first four strand prototype. First time we ever used it, this. Unrolling four at once. Just the same principle as the other one. Unroll semi tensioned. And when you want to put the full tension on, you put the bar in and pull it around like a capstone winch. I'm going a bit steady here because it was the first time we tried it, but so you can go faster than that. Here we are tensioning with the bar, locking it with a spring ball. Oh. That was unlocked. Here we are again. Do each in turn, then go back and give another one on each of the others. Look. Lock it, click me in. We're up to 70 metres now, but we, we haven't got the other bars to stop it tangling. 70 metres is about the maximum you can do without tangling. Here, I'll let Steve have a go now. That's showing it in transport position. We have a spring ball. Just flick a spring ball and put it into working position. The machine will work in either direction, like the quick fence, so it doesn't matter which way you're travelling, it still works just as well. Folding back into transport, very compact rolled, rolled width. There we are showing the roll width, it's very near the size of the tractor. Here we are showing the 2000 metre rolls of barb, putting the sleeve through, lifting it on, and the four strand can hold four. Two going one way, two going the other. So you can do 2,000 metres without re restocking with wire. Four strands at once. Here we are showing the new plain wire machine. Uh, the yellow uh, spacer on the end can work forward or backwards. It keeps the uh, plain wires apart, the right distance. Here we are threading it. And showing the uh, tornado handy rolls. Malcolm showing his expertise here. Tying off with our ten style wire. It can be done with uh, the new lasso type joiners you'll see later and also with gripples. Here we are unrolling six at once. Sun rolling semi tension with the spring loaded on the uh, on the reels. It's not fully tight, but we want to tension. We put the dual clamping system, or now we call it the the quick clamp. Not the wedges in. Draw forward, here we're showing the uh, lassoes, which are very handy because they've got the insulators on for the electric fencing. The new staple gun, 
which is a very fast quick way of stapling just putting one stapling to hold them at the right height see the wire is tensioned so that means you've got your full amount of tension left to to go at it you know in future times when you want to tension just unifying tune Here we're showing the uh, new 3,000 meter rolls of plain wire. They don't look like there's 3,000 meters on them rolls, but there is. Very, very heavy. It was take up to six of those as well. showing here but this is wrong this is the first time we tried it but they're all going the same way the middle one should go the opposite di direction and that gives the the wire tension as it's coming off we'll show you in a moment when we swap it over here we are finishing off with the gripples remember it's fully tensioned to start with barring the last uh, couple of meters so you just put the uh, it's still held on the, the quick fencer uh, and then you hold it. Here we are doing it correctly with the uh, middle roll going the opposite way. It just that gives it tension. It gives it a bit of rolling resistance. Here we are. You can lift them on this way. You can put the sling on either either end and just lift them on and off the sleeve or without the sleeve. But it's better with the sleeve because you can lift it off and then go back to uh, netting if you like very easy job putting them on that's the other way put them flat down on the pallet shove the sleeve through all three in this is the new quick clamp machine which is an attachment that fits on a standard 80 and allows you to go up to deer fence or in a bit we'll be able to do 2.4 meter wire and it also has an attachment to take up to six strands of barbed wire on it as well. Just a simple clamp, hooks on the top, goes down, put the wedges through and clamp it. If anybody's just going to do a little bit of horse netting or deer net, it's an easy way of buying it because you've already got your quick fences to start with and just buy the uh, attachment. As I said, it's really made, but we weren't doing any deer netting to show you. But um, you know, it's horse netting is hard work because it's only three inch squares. So there we are tensioning with it, stopping short of the strainer so you can tie off. Just as, as tension, you know, same tension as what you get with a quick fencing. On a bit smaller tractor, there on, on very slippy ground, so couldn't really go anymore. So you just pull it round. Here we just pull it around so you've got enough wire. Here we are, just the last two meters, just pulling with the other clamps. Knock the wedges out, finished, and away. Very good addition to the quick fencer range. Fast. Here we are rolling on the roll side in temper fencing. On the clay, I'm showing you can lift over obstructions, etc. Here we are at the end of a town, giving a footpath. We are unrolling a 300 meter roll, trial roll from a state wire. We roll the full 100 meters and tensioned it in two minutes. And then we rolled it all back up again. Oops, I threw it. And then we rolled it all back up again. The following day, we're showing you using the same wire on our actual job. And uh, we can roll the wire as tight as it comes in the original roll. We just lift the motors up, motor and the reducing gear up, and then it unrolls freely off the machine. You can lift the motors on, it's worth again the uh, cross full and leaf, I'll with you. I'm going to tell you I'm looking over it back of the pulse, but not necessarily because you can just lift it over manually if you have a tell you I'm Stop it 
ready to hold tension. Here we are unrolling the core setting. Setting our pumps a large roll when we're doing it, then you'll get 50 meters. Now I think get up to 300. Here we are showing tension. Straight as a die. And then you know, you're pulsing your wire, so you've got your height, and you've got your, your straight line as well. Sometimes it pays to put a pulse in the middle on the highest spot, but other than that, the decision of doing a, a wire up to the line wire when you don't need to. The awkward way is you pull it off by hand very easily, and in this one we haven't got the sleeve on it. Here we are joining the wire with a, a quick fence twister, twist it, bend it back, not stable along the line wire. Here we are rolling up, you can roll it back up as tight as it comes in the direction. Here we are showing the two strand barbed wire, we're only actually unrolling one strand the moment. We do another model which does one strand, we unrolls the same time do the netting, but I've got a video of that. This, uh, you don't need to be a straight line or anywhere near the fence, go around the strainer if you pull up 45 degrees. Here we are, coming down show. It's a lot safer than any other method. You can feel it, you can stretch your wire, and then give it a bit more. Here we are unrolling two at once. You don't need to be near the fence, you can go around obstruction and back in again. Recommend every 50 metres you put a stay, you'll see in a moment in the clip, there we are. Uh, if you put one of those in every 50 metres and you're on level one, you can go full 200 without needing to, to uh, stop. Here we're changing in again. Tension. Spring bolt to lock it. Do the other one, stretch it and then do it again. Here we are showing the uh, first four strand roll type. First time we use it, this. I'm rolling four at once. Just as simple as the other one. Unroll semi tensioned. When you want to the full tension, you put bar in, pull it around like a capstan wedge. I wouldn't be steady because it was the first time we tried it. You can go faster than that. So we have tension near the bar, can it with spring ball. Was only here we are again. Do each and turn then go back and do another one on each of the others. Look. Lock it clicking in. to 70 meters now but we haven't got the other bars to stop tangling. 70 meters is about the maximum you can do without tangling. Here yeah, we stay up a goal now. That shows in transport position. We have a spring ball, just a spring ball and put it into working position. The machine will work in either direction. Like quick and so no matter which way you're traveling it's all works just as well. Holding back into transport, very compact road to roll with. Now we are showing the roll, but it's very near the side of the tractor. Here we are showing 2,000 meter roll of barb. Put a sleigh through, lift it on. The four shank can hold four. Two going one way, two going the other. So you can do 2,000 meters without the reach to the wire. Four strand at once. Here we are showing new playing iron machine. Uh, the yellow uh, spacer on the end will look either forward or backwards. And it keeps the uh, plain wires apart at the right distance. Here we are threading it. And showing the uh, tornado and the rolls. Malcolm well, Shores XT here. Taking off the acting style wire.
it can be done with the new lasso type join as you see later and also with gripples. You're on rolling six at once. It's on rolling semi tension with the swing loaded on the on the reels. It's not fully tight, but we want to tension we put the dual clamp system or now we call it the quick clamp. Put the wedges in. Draw four. Here we join the uh, lassoes. Which are very handy because we've got the insulators on for electric fencing. The new staple gun, which is a very fast, quick with staple. I'm going to put in one staple and told on the right height. See the white is tensioned, so that means you've got your full amount of tension left to, to go at it. You know, it keeps your time to your tension. Just you find you. Here we'll join the uh, new. 3,000 meter rows of plain wire. It'll look like there's 3,000 meters on rows, but there is. Very, very heavy. It will stick up to six rows as well. We're going here, well, this is wrong. This is the first time we tried it, but they're all going the same way. The middle one should go the opposite direction. And that gives the wire tension that it's coming off. We'll show you in a moment when we swap it over. Here we are finishing off with ripples. Remember it's fully tensioned to start with barring the last uh, couple of meters. So you just put the uh, still on the quick fencer uh, and then you hold it. Here we are doing it correctly with the uh, middle row going the opposite way. That gives it tension. This is with rolling resistance. Here we are in lifting them on this way. You can put the sling on either, either end and just lift them on off. The sleeve or the out sleeve is better with the sleeve, which you lift it off and then go back to uh, netting if you like. Very easy job putting them on. That's the other way, come flat down on pallet, shove the sleeve to all three. Here, this is a new quick pump machine. This is an attachment that fits on standard 80 and allows you to go up to deep ends or in a big wheel to 2.4 meter wire. It also has an attachment to take up to six spans of uh, barbed wire on it as well. It's a simple clamp, hoops on the top, go down, put wedges through and clamp it. If anybody's going to do a little bit of horse netting or deer net, it's an easy way of buying it. You've already got your quick fencer to start with and just buy the uh, attachment. And say it's really mid but we weren't doing any deer netting to joy you that um, you know it's horse netting is our words, it's in three squares. So there we are tensioning with it. Stopping short to the strainer so you can tie off. Just the tension, you know, same tension as we get with a bit fencer. On a small track there on a very slippery ground, so going to be going more. So just pull it round. Here we just pull it round so you've got enough wire. Here we are, the last two mates just pulling with the other clamps. Not the wedges now, finished. And away. Very good addition to quick.